Man, listen, do you want free help? Well, keep listening, especially if you're a CEO. I and mean, we know how that is, right? CEO, administrative assistant, accountant, attorney, CMO, CFO, you're everything to your business, honey, because your business is still small and you need help. Also, if you're an employee and you work at a place where they've given you five hats to wear, but they're only paying you a salary for one hat, oh baby, you found the right video because 76% of employees say that they're burnt out working eight days a week, 32 days a month. Stay tuned because I'm going to teach you how to build an AI assistant. Make sure to like and subscribe and let's hop into it. Today we're going to learn how to build an AI assistant, which is a digital helper powered by artificial intelligence that can understand natural language and respond in very useful ways. In fact, look at my team right here. Of course, I have real human beings working for me, but also I have AI assistants who help us get the day-to-day -day work accomplished. Okay, let's hop into it for real this time. Your first step is opening chat GPT. I want you to open a new thread and navigate to the latest model, which at the time of this recording is chat GPT-5. You can either toggle to auto or instant, which used to be fast. Bottom line, use the latest and fastest model that has the highest reasoning skills. I'm checking auto. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter this prompt. Pause and screenshot if you need to, but you wanna make sure to include these elements. I'm developing an AI assistant that will support me in streamlining, and then I want you to list three things that this AI assistant is gonna help you with. And I want those three tasks to fall underneath one overarching category. Next, you're gonna describe your professional background. If you're an entrepreneur, I want you to put what your role is with the company. Do you consider yourself the president, the CEO, the visionary? Then I want you to describe your company. For me, I have an AI educational company of which I am CEO of. You wanna follow that up with what is your goal? After that, you're gonna give some demographic information. You wanna tell Chatisha, as I call ChatGPT, what do you call your chat GPT? Tell me in the comments. I want to read it. <laughs> but you want to tell it a little bit about yourself. This is a customized experience. So if you are creating a person, right, an assistant to assist you, they have to know what type of boss they're going to be reporting to. I'm letting them know I'm a black woman. I own a small business with fewer than 10 employees. And I'm trying to grow my business to an eight-figure business within five years and I wanna train a million people. And then you wanna add one strength and also one challenge. I put here that my strength is creativity and vision and my challenge is closing deals quickly. The more information you add here, the better ChatGPT will be at building an AI assistant. Once you've figured that out, at the end of your prompt, and this is very important, I want you to type okay if you understand and then press enter, okay, okay. Thank you, Chatisha. Every once in a while, Chatisha does what she needs to do. Okay, so let's hop into our next prompt. You're doing amazing, by the way. Step two, now it's time to hire. Imagine hiring the perfect assistant without having to shell out money on Indeed and also Career Builder. Again, AI is not meant to replace jobs, but I'm speaking to that entrepreneur that wants to scale their business enough so that you can hire people. But that's not always possible, especially since the average Black entrepreneur doesn't even pull in $100,000 in revenue annually. And so trying to pay themselves and pay another person isn't fiscally possible. So the prompt looks like this. You want to start by describing your assistant. Start off by saying you want an AI assistant and include how many years of experience they have and who they are used to supporting. I always put two decades of experience, okay? That means that you've been back, back in the day, back in the 90s, you was all the way back up in there with Joe C and Aaliyah and SWV. You, you all of the R&B legends <laughs> and then align that experience with your role. I put CEO, but it's important for me to hire an assistant that understands the unique challenges and also benefits that come along with being a black CEO. Two words that I use when I'm creating my AI assistant is that they are well versed in code switching and also office politics. Okay. After that, you want to talk about what hard skills they have. Here, I have put that this person has experience in negotiation and in development. They are experienced at dealing with customers, turning them into repeat customers, changing your prospects into clients. So after that, 
you want to be very specific about their communication style. So I said I want that I want my person to be creative and also conversational and I want them to avoid tropes like hope all is well. If it matters to you, include the race, include the gender, also include the age. Are they kind and quick witted? After that, name your AI assistant if you want. I'm gonna say my AI assistant's name is Aaliyah. And you're gonna say review what I have just typed and create a 100 word backstory about my AI assistant and also certifications she might have in a mini resume. And then you're gonna press enter and Tatisha is going to work her magic. So now you see that we have specifics. Aaliyah Johnson, executive communications and strategy advisor, deal closer and customer experience architect. It goes on to give her executive summary, her education. Now we actually have institutions here instead of just a big HBCU in a Ivy League. I see Howard University. I see University of Pennsylvania Wharton School. And I also see here in regard to professional experience, now what they're doing is they're measuring her impact, right? So she negotiated corporate lending deals averaging 120 million annually. That's somebody I want on my team. Let's keep going. I would like to get to know if I could be the type of assistant you could be down for. Now, if you ever come to my classes with Skill House, you let me tell you something. I sing to you. We always do a little bit of lecture and a lot of bit of work, but while you're working, I'm serenading you. Let me tell you something. Skill House, you is a vibe. <laughs> okay, so next up inside of your prompt, you're now going to ask ChatGPT to give you three questions that you would likely ask it to answer in support of you. Your prompt is gonna look like this. Give me three questions I am likely to ask daily for my business. For example, review this email and edit it. You always wanna give ChatGPT an example. Give it context, that is good prompt engineering. So you see here, it gave me three questions. Review this email and make it sharper. Keep it warm, but close the deal. And if I don't let you know that it would be for it. Anyway, so this is what you're going to put as your prompt. You're going to ask ChatGPT to share with you five reputable industry standard open source PDFs that relate to the specific skill that you need in your AI assistant that you can use to train your AI assistant with. Here is my prompt right here. Make sure you use it. Here's an example of one of those PDFs. You wanna download this and save this to your device because you're gonna be uploading these documents later. We're two steps away from being done. Hang in there with me because we're almost at the fun part. As if all of this hasn't been fun already. You got me over here singing Brandy to you. And if you don't let me know. Still don't know the words anyway. <laughs> Here's your next prompt. You want to always have custom instructions. What separates your AI assistant from using regular Degula chat GPT-5, honey, is that you're always going to ask it to ask you a follow-up question before giving you advice or providing a recommendation. The importance of a follow-up question is that you always want to make sure that it has all of the context that it needs in order to be successful. For my own AI assistant, I have custom instructions that are 8,000 characters long, and that's how long your instructions can be. I customize every single one of my follow-up questions, which may be, hey, how do you want your email tone to be? Or I may prompt it to ask me to copy and paste the entire email chain so that it can get an opportunity to see exactly what the previous conversation has been so it can advise me on what the conversation ahead might be. So here you would say create custom instructions for my GPT specifically involving asking follow-up questions before asking for advice. Here you see it already provides a persona alignment, rules of engagement, and then here it also goes into, hey, whenever I'm asking for edits, you're going to ask me what tone I want professional, warm, persuasive, or sharp, then it's going to confirm whether I want a full rewrite or whether I just want refinement. Our last prompt before we head over to GPT to create this assistant is going to be creating the image of the assistant that you want. And this is the fun part. I mean, it's all, to me, it's all been fun, but visuals always give you that extra, right? It comes to life. So here you get an opportunity to say the type of assistant that you want to have on your team. And so I'm going to say, create an image, create an image 
that is photorealistic and it is of a black woman and she has a big blonde afro and very dark skin and gold hoop earrings and a crisp pink collared shirt and a nose ring and a cross as a necklace. I'm gonna say as well that I want this to be a headshot and I'm gonna put dash dash AR one by one. Dash dash AR one by one just means that you want this image to have an aspect ratio that equates to a square. You're gonna click on that plus sign you're gonna click create image and then you're going to press enter. And ladies and gentlemen, here we have Aaliyah. Isn't she beautiful? She has beautiful dark skin. I'm calling that a natural blonde, okay? Well, black people ain't just born with black and brown hair. We come in all hues and shades, honey. She got bright white teeth. She got that cross around her neck. She also has gold hoop earrings and she has a crisp pink shirt. She is absolutely gorgeous. So this is my AI assistant. Now let's go and take the information that we have over into the GPT store and create our AI assistant and put it to work for us. In order to create this AI assistant, you do need ChatGPT Plus. So that will be an initial investment of $20. But if you stay until the end of this video, I will show you how you can continue to use your AI assistant for free for life. You're going to go to the left-hand side panel and you're going to click GPTs. Next, you're going to go to the right hand side, you're going to click create. And after clicking create, it's going to take you here to this page. On this page is where you're going to toggle over to configure and it's going to give you an opportunity to upload their headshot and put their name. I already know the name of my AI assistant is Aaliyah. You're going to have an opportunity to put their description, type their instructions, Conversation starters will go here and also their knowledge base. Every prompt that I gave you allows for you to answer these questions. And so let's go through them one by one. For her description, I'm gonna go grab this line right here from her full resume. And we're gonna add it right here. The word count here is 300 words, so you are not gonna be able to add the backstory, but I will tell you where you can add her backstory later. Let's go back and get the instructions. Your custom instructions should be labeled something along those lines. Go back and get those custom instructions. They're gonna have the follow-up questions that your GPT is gonna ask whenever you engage. We're gonna take that back over into GPT. I copy pasted my instructions in the corresponding box. You have 8,000 characters that you can use here. For the GPTs that I have on my team, I tend to use every single character. Then you're gonna go down here to the conversation starters. The conversation starters are the three questions that your AI assistant anticipates that you'll ask every single time that you visit them. I'm gonna take the first question. I'm gonna paste the first question under conversation starters. Once I paste that question, you'll see that it pops up over here. You're gonna do the same thing for all three questions. I've now updated all three conversation starters. Is that not incredible? Yes, it is. Mm-hmm, that's right. And now we're gonna update the knowledge. So remember the PDFs that were in ChatGPT that I asked you to download and put onto your device? Those go right here. You're gonna click Upload Files and you're gonna go get those PDFs. The more PDFs you have, the better. Now it is limited, so you cannot put 100 PDFs there in order to train your model, but you could put just enough for it to be effective for your particular work effort and also output. After that, you're gonna scroll down. I always keep the web search on Canvas, image generation here. Depending on your work, you can also add the code interpreter and also the data analysis. And these are the basics. If you wanna test your AI assistant, first you're gonna see visually how your assistant looks on the back end. Then you can create, press create, and you can say anyone with the link can view or only you can view. That's up to you. You can save your GPT. And once you save it, it's gonna give you a link that you can copy paste in order to test out. Let's test out Aaliyah. I'm gonna click this question right here. It's gonna say, review this brand deal email and advise me. 
So I have this message, it's thinking for just a little bit. What it's doing is it's preparing to follow my instructions. It says, before I can tell you whether to push for more development, negotiate, close, or disengage, I need to know a little more about your goals with this brand deal. And then it begins to ask me the questions, okay? So what are you hoping to get out of this partnership? Quick revenue, long-term positioning, or more visibility and exposure? I'm going to say quick revenue. And this process would continue with your AI assistant until you get everything that you need in order to close the deal. Congratulations, you have your AI assistant. You did it. But if you want the full prompting guide, I got you, honey. I've created a full-on prompting guide. You can have all of my prompts, all of my data, even my GPT. Just go to skillhouseu.com and look for this thumbnail right here. I've also linked it below. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe.